what's going on guys so in this video I'm gonna be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in a Philips Dolby Audio DTS DVD Blu-ray 3D Ultra HD Blu-ray player no but really this is basically just a 4k Blu-ray player and as I said I'm gonna be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in it so I got this thing from Amazon for like 50 or 60 bucks which is actually a lot cheaper than every other 4k Blu-ray player I saw I'm not sure why it's so much cheaper uh, but I'll put a link in the description if you want to check one out now before we get into it if we hit 3,000 likes in this video I'm gonna be giving away a digital movie code for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Came out like a year ago. A uh, really good movie, especially if you like Spider-Man. But yeah, just make sure to like like this video and I'll give it away to a random person in the comments. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what kind of games we got. So we got a bunch of Nintendo games here as usual. Got some Xbox games, got some PlayStation games, and then we got some other random miscellaneous games and movies because you know this is a movie player so <laughs> we should probably get into the movies but the first thing I'm going to start with is an actual 4k disc since this is supposed to be advertised as an ultra HD 4k player I've always found it interesting how everybody calls it 4k but they really advertise it as ultra HD but you know you know how it is so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my TV and let's turn on this uh, see if we can turn on this player see if the remote works I just put batteries in it there it goes alright so you get a little white light and I think something's happening on TV. All right, yeah. So you got this little colored screen. Oh, it's talking to me. Oh crap. Oh, uh, this is really. This is like kind of scary. Um, this remote doesn't work very well. It's kind of laggy. Whoa. Yeah, let's turn it off. I don't really want you starting with me and talking to me anymore. Set quick start mode on and off. Um. Let's say off for now. Off. Skip. Yeah, we're going to skip all that stuff for now. Oh, so we actually got a GUI on here. So we got our disk, USB, home network, and setup. So let's go ahead and click on disk. Disk is not inserted. Nice. So we actually have a screen. And I believe this right here is the eject button. So a nice slow eject. Gives you plenty of time to stick in a disk. I'm not sure where this button is right here. Looks like a... Actually, I don't think it is a button. Alright guys, so since this is a 4K player, let's go ahead and start with the 4K disc. So we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I think this one right here is the 4K disc. Let's go ahead and take that out and put it in the disc tray. Which has a nice slow insert. And then hopefully it'll show me it's loading. Okay, so we got a little spinning wheel up in the top left hand corner. Which is nice. So we'll kind of know what's going on a little bit. So it looks like it's doing something now. Um, it kind of changed screens, but it's still blue and black. You can hear it spinning a little bit. Oh, my screen just got black, and it's showing this little Spider-Man logo now. So I'm going to be pre prepared to exit in case it starts playing some music or something. Oh, there we go. So yep, it is working. And my home button works, fortunately. Well, that's good to know it at least works for 4K movies. Uh, now let's get into the rest of them. So first, let's go ahead and start with... I might change it up a little bit. Start with um, Nintendo. Usually I don't start with Nintendo, but we're going to do it this time. And we're going to go with GameCube, which has a little small disc, but it's got a little cutout so that I can put a small disc in there. So it should be okay, hopefully. And we got our spinning wheel on the top. And let's see what's let's see what it's got in mind for us today. I could go ahead and try to select the disc. I guess it's just gonna, just going to not do anything. Um, disc not inserted. Oh wow, that's a little savage. <laughs> Just telling me it's not inserted at all. Come on, dude. And now it's going to take forever to eject it. I guess since it doesn't think there's a disc in there, it doesn't want to eject it. Um, but okay, so it doesn't like the small discs. Let's try Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. You know, that give me something nice. You know, to be honest, I don't have much hope for these Nintendo games. They, Nintendo games are so proprietary. I'm surprised they even work on their own systems sometimes. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what it does. Try click on disc again. Maybe check out the setup and see what's going on in here. Oh, you got a lot of random settings. 3D. So I guess <laughs> so I guess this uh, thing came out when um, 3D was a big thing for like a year. Alright, so I'm back on the home screen now, and it's clearly not showing a disc. 
disk is not supported, please refer to the user manual for a list of supported disks. I know I'm not used to reading a user manual, but I guess you guys can if you want to. Alright, so not, last but not least of the Nintendo games, we got Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Let's pull it out and try it out. A nice slow eject or insert. And man, I gotta say, this controller, or this remote really stinks, it's terrible. You gotta like point directly at this thing for it to work. Um, but wow, that was quick, that was quicker this time. Discs, disc is not supported, please refer to the manual. And again, I told you, I'm not going to look at the manual. Um, it's a lot more interesting just to stick in everything and see what it does than it is to read through a boring manual. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the original Xbox games. So we got Prince of Persia. This is the first time I've actually tried this game. I've never actually even played it for the Xbox either. I just <laughs> I picked up a bundle one time with Xbox and a bunch of random games. Um, but I really haven't played like half of them. Oh, whoa. Ah, here we go. The classic trickery, dude. I love when it does this trick. That was quick, too. You probably can't hear the sound because I have the volume down kind of low. It basically gives you this whole startup animation and makes you think it's about to play, and then it gives you all these different languages saying, this is an Xbox game disc. Please put in your Xbox to start playing, which is super savage. And I feel like they made that just for dudes like me that's going to stick a bunch of, stick their Xbox games into random um, other disc-based systems. Uh, but it's, it's just kind of funny. Um, it gets me every time. So let's go to the Xbox 360 game. Got the original skate. Let's go ahead and put it in. See what it has to say. This is kind of funny up here. I kind of want to text that number. Text skate to 22123. Look at that old phone. <laughs> oh, what in the world? Um, play this disc, put it in the Xbox 360 console. So they're, they continu continued their savageness by saying put it in the 360 console as well so they did it on the original xbox and the xbox 360 and to be honest i don't really remember ever seeing one of those in the 360 i know i've seen that before on the original xbox but i don't remember seeing a message like that on the 360 unless i'm just completely forgetting uh but let's go ahead and get into xbox one and see if it does the same thing so red dead redemption 2 a great game that i still haven't finished unfortunately um just haven't finished it yet i don't know why so let's go ahead and see what it's got in store for us. So it's spun not very long and discs not supported. So that was that was quick. It's kind of getting quicker. It's like, oh, I just actually turned it off. Whoops. To be honest, it's almost like this thing's got some some AI to it. So it's, you know, it's like learning on the fly. And the more I put weird discs in the console, it just learns from me and it's not going to I'm not gonna accept my BS anymore. So Crash Bash for the PlayStation. I'm hoping this one does something. Um, but considering it's from back in the day and this is 4K, you know, it's probably just gonna spit it straight back out. I'm guessing it's just gonna say no disc inserted, not even unsupported or anything. Oh, okay, what is this? All right, let's see if I can find this remote and actually work it. So if you scroll down, we got Crash Bash and Spyro 3. No playable files exist. Spyro 3, no playable files. Okay, that's those are photos. You can look at photos on here. That's pretty cool. Uh, music, no playable files. Huh. So it lets you look for photos and music, but unfortunately, there's apparently no playable files in here. So that's kind of cool that it actually recognizes this disc, or the format of the disc, and it can actually um, see the folders inside of it. You know, it saw a Spyro folder and a Crash Bash folder. Um, so that kind of tells me that there's a Crash Bash game on here, obviously. And I guess it's got a Spyro demo on it. I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool that it can actually see some of the file structure of it, uh, even though there is unfortunately no pictures or music to play. But let's go ahead and get into PlayStation 2, GTA Vice City. Um, I have a feeling it might have something similar on here. Well, if I can get the disc out. It might actually recognize the file structure and give you an option, maybe, hopefully. I'm not sure though. We'll see. Oh, yep, it does. So, I'm not sure if you can read those file names. We got system, movies, data, models, a bunch of random stuff. Let's check a couple out and see if we see anything. Nope, maps. Oh, nothing. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, so, we can go back. Maybe there's something in music. Movies. 
Nope. Audio, here we go. Man, it's really lame. They got a music folder and it doesn't even have music in it. Oh well. Um, still kind of cool. My guess was right that they had a file structure there too that you can actually read. So, kind of fancy, you know. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. So let's see what the PS3's got in store for us. So, this is a Blu-ray disc. So you'd think it'd have pretty nice compatibility with a Blu-ray reader. Um, but you know, PS3 is usually not a super great one for me. Yep, as man, it just recognized it real fast. It was like, get that out of here. It knew the PS3 was not not gonna have it for it. So let's try GTA 5 for the PS4. Got a few GTA games today. Let's see what's up. So this is a similar format to the PS3. So I'm guessing it's gonna, just gonna do the same thing where it's gonna say the the disc is not supported. I guess we'll get yeah, that one's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and get that one out of here, and let's move on to our next games, which are should be pretty interesting. So we got Hidden and Dangerous. This one's always interesting, <laughs> to say the least, for the Dreamcast. Let's go ahead and pull it out, put it in that nice disc slot, let it load up, and I'm thinking it's going to take me to another file structure like the other ones did. And yep, or it just goes in and plays music immediately. This is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It always plays that that warning. That this is only for use on Sega Dreamcast. I'll play it again in case you didn't hear it. This is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. My mic microphone's kind of facing the opposite direction of the speakers, but it always plays this message that. Um, this disc is not for use on. This disc is only for use on Sega Dreamcast. But I thought it was weird that it didn't show me the file structure. It just actually immediately played the audio, which I guess is cool or nice. Um, not sure. But we got a PC game, Lego Racers. This one I feel like is going to show the file structure again, and I'll probably search for music and probably won't be able to find it, unfortunately. But we'll we'll see. We still got hope. It's still loading. It's not looking promising though if it's taking this long. You can just see it spinning. Well, any day now. Let me try to click on that disc a few times, maybe it'll speed the process up. Huh. Well that's weird. I guess it's just it's not having it. So man, I actually thought I would recognize the PC um, PC game and give me a file structure to choose from, but I guess not. Alright, so next up I got HD DVD. Now, this is one I've done, been using recently. Um, it, as you guys probably know, HD DVD didn't last. It was kind of the competitor to Blu ray. Uh, but, you know, you don't ever go to a store nowadays and see an HD DVD there, so you know it's pretty much extinct. But I bought this one on this uh, HD DVD from eBay for like three bucks, because I figured might as well, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and see. It'd be pretty sweet if this thing could play HD DVDs. Um, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but you know, maybe we'll be surprised. Dude, this thing will just like never endingly spin. It'll never give me a message or anything. It's just gonna spin forever. I'm gonna sit here on the floor until I'm 90 years old, waiting for this thing to load. Oh, finally, disc is not supported took forever dude and it wasn't even spinning this whole time it was just kind of sitting there like contemplating life as an HD DVD uh, wondering what it's like to be non-existent anymore all right so we got a DVD like an original DVD uh, this should work I feel like most blu-ray and 4k players are backwards compatible to DVDs but I guess you never know I mean this thing was only like 50 bucks so I wouldn't be surprised to be honest Okay, yeah, it's working. That was actually the fastest thing that's loaded on here. So it's definitely working pretty well. Um, that's nice. You can play DVDs in 4K. Uh, you can search file structures. So we tried a 4K disc and a DVD. I figure we should probably try the middle out and do a, a Blu-ray as well. And as I said earlier, this actually comes with a 4K on the right side and a Blu-ray, I believe, on the left side. So we can actually use the same, same movie um, just a different format and it should load up I mean if a DVD works and a 4k 
DVD works or 4K Blu-ray works than you'd think a regular Blu-ray would work. Uh, but I guess we'll we'll verify here and make sure it actually does. I'm thinking it'll give me that little Spider-Man logo in the middle, and then we'll know we're golden. Any day now, maybe, maybe not. There it is. So the Spider-Man logo is there. So there we go, guys. We know the Blu-ray works. And last but not least, I got one more thing to try. And as you guys know, I got to try a $20 bill. Or actually, this is a 10 Whoops. Let's go ahead and just stick it in real quick and see if it fits. So it kind of goes in. Not all the way. Um, oh, it actually... That was interesting. It just kind of jutted back out a little bit. Huh. It's trying to go in and out. That's kind of funny. Um, but you know... $10 bill, only so much you can do with it. Should have gotten it to 20. Oh well, I guess. Alright, guys, so thanks for watching the video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want to win that Spider Man movie. And make sure to subscribe if you like this video. And definitely make sure to check out the links in the description. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.